N E and La La Land. So this video is going to be focused around how I started organizing my life and uh, just becoming more productive. And I was using bullet journal back then, but now I have incorporated that philosophies into a new app. And this video is going to be about how to be more organized and getting stuff done in real life and not just be lost in this wonderful la la land. So in this, I will be sharing the first thing I'll be sharing is uh, how I uh, schedule and uh, organize organize um, life in a in a in like a to do list way. Second thing is so this will uh, help you in understanding what to do. All right. So the second one is uh, understanding the philosophy philosophy of uh, letting go and this will tell you like how to do as a uh, any user you will be very comfortable with concepts because concepts are non personal what does it mean for example what happened with me i was reading this book called getting things done which is so famous for productivity and and i got his uh, system you capture all the stuff you want to do then you like organize it and then you like schedule it and then you like do it. Basically the system of getting things done. I, I had the system, but it, for us, the things, the sensory things are personal. So it gets time to uh, acclimate or get used to the system. And what I mean by this, so the guy who, uh, David Allen, right, getting things done, he doesn't care how we capture stuff. He just, he writes notes and slaps it on. He takes, writes it in an app. He writes in tissue and slaps it on in a box. You know what I mean? I can't do all that stuff. I just want to like, I want to capture everything in a single app. And this app is a very personal thing that you get used to. For me, the app that I'm going to explore in this video is called Keep. But there are other apps like To-Do List, which I, I find other any SI users also find that very, very useful. But me... I personally prefer keep because I can just jot down things. I can add tags. I'll show you all the fun stuff. But the idea here is you will be comfortable with gathering concepts as, as in how your organization, like the philosophy is how you should organize. That's going to come easy. But the application that you use is going to be personal. So this will take time to get used to. For me, it took like uh, three to like six months to like just get used to and it, and you have to like slowly build it. All right. So I will talk about that in the future. You have to slowly build it. It's getting used to it. You have to, you have to like be around it and then get used to like looking at it and then slowly integrate that into your life. All right. It's like a plant. You have to, it grows. So, so, so let's look at uh, David Allen's, uh, David Allen's getting things uh, done system. So if you don't have any philosophy of how to get organized, this is a pretty good framework. All right. And it's pretty intuitive as well. So stockpile is basically capture. You have to capture all your ideas and thoughts. Okay. Another thing is called clarify. Basically clarifying means, uh, just to sort all your captured thoughts into like, okay, this to do list, not to do list, pa, 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 pa. And then once you organized it, you, you can then segregate. Once you clarified it, then you organize, okay, do I do this now? Do I do this later? Do I not do this? Pa, 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 pa. So let's talk about capturing all your ideas. Now this is Google keep. All right. This is how it's going to look like it's plain. It has nothing and you can have it in mobile as well. So you have, you have any notes, you can just put like a ti title on it. So you can just put a title on it. Let's say you remember you had to like wash clothes, right? Wash clothes. And then you can just write uh, do it by sun day. Now, why this is important. Now, remember, whichever thoughts come into your head, you have to capture it. And you can go look in my previous video, which is called open loops, which is in my channel. I think I'll put that link in the description as well. You have a lot of open loops in your head and your mind can only have seven unresolved things at a time. Okay. So if, if in your mind, so if in your mind you have this thought of, Oh, I have to like wash my clothes. That's taking away Ram. That's taking away the memory space. And this always takes level of anxiety. I have to do this. I have to do that. I have to do this and that and this and that. <laughs> so you have to capture and that will give you freedom. So this stockpiling would give you freedom. Now, 
you can not only capture but you can also create a category a tag here which i love i just love this feature so what i do i ju don't just write close let's say i have to watch a youtube video and uh, here's a youtube video i put the link and then you put hashtag and then just write whatever are you whatever category you want i put like let's say capture let's say capture and then it creates a new category you see so when you like press enter it gets it gets stored here so anytime this is like a dump of all your capture so anytime you have to do something uh, call susan and then you just try it and in this if you are in capture it goes but let's say you're in notes and you just have to quickly take something you're just okay uh, meeting at nine hotel the and i just put hashtag capture then i can just like close it and boom it's in capture and later i can go talk about it so when you whenever you're doing your task high important task this will happen so this is step number one capture now moving on to step number two the clarify now you get this and here's where you will create your um daily to-do list now if i pin this so let me like pin it so if i pin you get like this it goes up right so what i have in my thing i have like a daily to-do list i have tomorrow to-do list but uh right i have a weekly to-do list now let me remind you the key to success in this thing is start small just start with to-do list just start with one thing and try building it up so if you try to like just take my framework and copy it you're not you're going to fail so you have to like get used to the application so start with one and then you like read a book and realize oh you know what i need tomorrow to do to do list as well and then you add this and then you realize oh you know what i need weekly to do list and then you add that so it goes like that and with my to do list one tip i can give you is i create like level so level 1 level 2 level 3 i have to do this 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 so it's like level 1 could be something super simple as like watch this 30 minute video right and level 2 would be like shoot this video and level 3 could be like edit this video right and what the system allows you to do here's a step now step so what the system allows you to do here's a step 1 you need clarity you need clarity in your life the more clear you are about what you have to do daily the more focused you can be and the more direction you have also realize if you are someone like me and super extroverted and super skibby you would want to do a lot of things at a time but let me tell you this this won't compute to you you won't be able to see it in the reality but the fact is you have to understand that consistency is much 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 more superior than doing lot of work in a day so if you are someone who doesn't feel productive just because they watch a 30 minute lecture it's okay it's a very normal feeling to have however the key here is if you watch 30 minute video every day that is much better than just cramming in 6 hours of videos a uh, one day a week all right much 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 more efficient and if you are a student another thing i use is called evernote that's where i take my notes but that's for another video but here's like the basic idea you have to like pick so for me it's keep i'm very comfortable with this app and for, for me it feels very uncomfortable going to and switching to another app is to do list or something like that so it takes time to get used to an app so this is like my so i'm like very particular about this application i'm very attached to this very particular apl application and here's like the sensory is personal but the concepts can be whatever but the sensory is personal so you have this to do list and it will tell you what to do okay clarity organize you can either do it delegate it pa 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 so in this one here's a very practical way of ordering your list so you need to have only like what i call three wishes per day so you have like three tasks that you do per day that's it just three small sensory important task that's it if you do more than that you lose consistency and if you lose consistency you'll never get anything done 
but even if you just get small th- small small three tasks done per day but if you keep doing it every day and it's so counterintuitive right because you can never experience this but you will get stuff done in reality and it will be almost like how is it working because i don't see it working and trust me on this yeah doing just three just three tasks every day small small ones consistently 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 will change your life now this task has uh, certain conditions it has to follow one it has to be time bound right other is has to be sensory sensory as in practical what i did with my my goals i was like oh i have to get artificial intelligence done oh today i will do uh, another lecture like neural networks and i used to have vague goals like this but i never actually wrote what i should do but then later on i came to do goals like okay i'm going to watch this one lecture which is 30 minutes long so what does this mean the task is needs to be time bound and sensory sensory meaning it needs to be practical if you're saying this to someone else they should be able to keep you accountable if you say hey if my goal in my past how i did oh i have to learn artificial intelligence today it sounds like a good goal right no why because it's too abstract it's too woo woo if if my friend asked me hey did you do the artificial intelligence thing today you'd be like ah uh, yeah they cannot like point it and say oh you did this or not you know the outside world should be able to tell whether you accomplished something or not so it needs to be time bound and sensory so later my goals became something like oh i have to watch this one lecture which is 30 minutes long or oh, they have to do this one assignment and do this one task or i have to like open this one assignment and spend like one hour on it right it can be either time bound or it can be like sensory bound like oh i have to finish this task a and finish this task b stuff like that this is very important and you need and even if you just have like three small small things that you are doing every day that really adds up for example i had this 50 lectures that i had to watch but one day i spent watching six lectures which like one hour like six hours of work right but then i got burnt out and i just just quit this lecture and then after three months after three months i <laughs> i picked up uh, the other lecture and slowly started consuming it three months but had i just did two lectures every day i'd have finished it in one month even if i did one lecture every day i'd have finished it in 50 days which is still like two months but just because this one day i did six lectures and i crashed i felt super productive this day right i felt so productive but for three months after that i just didn't do anything but with if i just do two lectures every day i don't feel productive i do not feel productive but in the sensory game i'm actually getting stuff done in two months i did watch the 50 videos and that is what i mean by three wishes start by three small wishes all right and just start getting used to this idea your to do list needs to have like three small things that you have to do very small things it, it make it as small as possible okay and here's another thing right let's say you wrote your three goals like let's say three wishes let's say you wrote your three wishes now let's say you have like your wish so you have your like wish 1 wish 2 wish 3 but on on the dishes like day 1 you only could be able to do one wish and you couldn't do the other two wishes that says that these two wishes were too big or this one was like too big so you have to make sure like you you split the wishes into like smaller wishes so that you have three wishes in your day every day all right if you're not able to complete three wishes that only means that your wishes are too big all right so make them smaller remember three wishes a day needs to be time bound and sensory and make sure if you are not able to do all the three wishes that only means that your wishes are too big make it smaller chunk it down like make it bite size not not bite size you know how you eat an elephant you eat it one bite at a time <laughs> if you still need more information on how to like organize a to do list you can check out brian tracy's um, eat that frog and you don't have to read the book you can just go to images and find a image which summarizes <laughs> 
look look at it. you just find an image which summarizes and just pick some idea and move on this is a kind of stuff you don't want to consume you just have to like take it use it like set goals plan ahead 80 20 rule long term someone has beautifully summarized this you just go okay label your task a b and c just take this and apply it don't think about it too much there's no nothing just try it the more you do the better it is so just take tips summary just don't don't try to consume this thing into the depth or whatever all right so this is step number 1 you get clarity using keep now here's the tough part you know what to do all right this is done but how to do because you get distracted so for me pomodoro did not work it's very hard for me to like make it work so what i do there are two types of goals you can set let's say you have to like watch a two hour lecture one is either like task bound other is um time bound all right so your so you your goal your clarity when you create that what should be very clear is are you is your task to like watch this two hour lecture or is your task to do one hour of the lecture and thing is after one hour you have to stop and the here also the task let's say you finish the lecture you have to stop just take a break chill if you watch two hours of lecture a day but if you do it every day consistently you're golden you're golden but it's very hard to see that in reality but that's how it is jeff bezos does so little but he has like a trillion dollar industry <laughs> now let's say you did create a time bound because this is, for me computer science i just can't do it i watch a lecture and i i feel bored i hate the subject and it's just like so taxing on my brain energy my soul like gets strained so for me i create like a time bound lecture so what i say is okay i'm going to watch one hour of this lecture now here's a tough part okay here's a really tough part now you know now you have this one hour lecture okay now you have to do something called release if you don't feel like doing it if you get too bored or something you have to release what do i mean by release you have to unconditionally accept unconditionally accept and how does that look like you have to unconditionally accept all the implications of watching a lecture what does that mean you must be okay so here let me write you must be okay and love yourself if you're watching the lecture you have to accept the situation just the way it is if you watch the le- lecture and you also have to accept yourself just the way you are if you choose not to watch the lecture you have to accept yourself just the way you are even if you suffer during watching the lecture and you have to also accept yourself even when you're bored of watching the lecture you have to also accept the fact that you are feeling to not watch the lecture because you're bored so you have to accept all the emotional states that is implied by the lecture so even if you are not able to accept one of this and you say oh i have to watch this because if i don't watch this pa 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 this will happen that will happen that creates resistance and that makes it super hard to watch the lecture because now you are like not watching the lecture but you are actually it's not you're not choosing the lecture it's like the lecture is choosing you but in that state it's very hard to push yourself but when you choose by yourself oh you know what i want to watch a lecture rather than saying oh i have and then saying the lecture has to watch me so it's like the other way around right i have to watch the lecture because i choose to watch the lecture versus oh i have to watch the lecture because if i don't watch it all these things would happen i'd fail in my exam my parents would scold me papa papa i'll not get good grades and i won't get a good job i'll be poor in the streets papa 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 right so you have to accept yourself just the way you are no matter what emotional state you're feeling no matter what you're feeling so for me i have to take a step back and like let go okay here's this one hour lecture can i allow myself to watch this lecture and this is a very important word can i allow myself to watch this lecture right now and you have to like accept that right okay i can allow myself to watch this lecture can i allow myself not to watch the lecture yes i can allow myself to not to watch the lecture and it takes like a it's a, it's a process of acceptance and then you ask yourself can i can i allow myself to be bored while watching the lecture and you say yes i allow myself to be bored by watching this 
do you allow yourself to be bored and not watch lecture because you're feeling bored yes i allow myself and once you let go and you do this for like 5 10 minutes ask yourself do you want to watch the lecture now if you don't want to watch the lecture that's fine you can you can schedule it later but most often times the resistance that you were feeling would be much lesser because because you'd be like you know what i allow myself no matter what i'm feeling so in this state i will watch the lecture so in this state i choose to watch the lecture and this is how you slowly like release on the process i have created more videos on this process in more detail with like matrix and another animation all that stuff i'll link that also in the description okay but the process the idea is really this you should allow yourself to watch the stuff not watch the stuff to do the stuff not do the stuff and accept yourself accept that emotional state you will have a sensation in your body you know when you tune into your body you will feel feel it somewhere in your stomach chest throat somewhere something you will feel it <laughs> just accept that state just the way it is and and that should like solve most of the problems let me know if this helps comment down below if you have any queries you can you relate to this kind of stuff anything comment on what you did you not understand any concept in this video comment down below i would love to hear what you have to say till then see you next time a fun fact about so you might not know who bob is but a fun fact about bob uh he's not married there you go i'll see you in the next video